All right, so episode three. First of all, that was a damn good episode. It felt like a season, a mid-season finale or a season finale. Weems is up to no good. Also, how tall is this woman? Like six, nine? Um, Weems is up to no good. I don't trust her. And the reason I don't trust her is her behavior, sure. But the fact that we saw Rowan shapeshift, I'm still not sure if that's the real Rowan or not. Ah, I think they're trying to throw me off of the scent of the monster. I still think it's Tyler. Um, Xavier showed up when Wednesday was in her um, psychic flashback thing or not, fighting Crackstone. But I still think, even with the marks on Xavier's neck, I still think the monster is Tyler. When it, oh, uh, Christina Ricci's character, I forget her name, but I think she is the descendant of Crackstone because she's there and they're really focusing on her being the only normie. So I feel like that whole town is weird. I feel like they are setting it up as a us versus them thing. But when you, like the conversation that Wednesday had with Weems and that she had with Xavier, it's pretty much like, I'm not sugarcoating shit. I don't like when people rewrite history. You're wrong, you're wrong. If we don't write our story, they'll write it for us. It felt very much like, margin insert marginalized identity here. And I feel like, because I think that Tyler is the monster and I don't think he's trying to hurt Wednesday. I think he's trying to protect her. There has to be other people in the town who are oddballs too. So episode three was damn good.